Um, what was it like? How well you were you toured with him? Yeah. Uh, I didn't. Well, Dresden Dolls toured with Nine Inch Nails yeah. in 2005. Um, Trent had contacted me once before to see if I would be able to actually play with the band, which to me was, I was like, oh, great. Why? Why did he ask you? Uh, I think he really liked the 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 way I played on stage with the Dolls. I think felt like I had a really good energy and creative ideas, and you know, I don't, I don't know. You'd have to ask him, but. Uh, but he, that's sort of what he wrote to me when he asked me to be involved with Ghosts, was, you know, I really like the way you played, it'd be great to have you come out. It's a very sort of freeform, kind of open album I'm making, but I'd love to just have you come out and see what happens. I thought, okay, do I need to like rehearse with anything? How do I prepare? But he didn't want me to, you know, get ready. He just wanted a very honest, you know, portrayal of how I played. And I like that. I think that's kind of cool. Um, that you get a very authentic sense of how a musician plays when you don't give them a lot of instruction. You just say, do this and a little bit of that, go. And for me, the first day out there, he said, I thought a cool project for the day would be to have you build a drum kit and then we'll record some improvisations tonight. So he said, go out you know, with, with our, our friend here and go to the hardware store, get stuff from around my house, whatever you want to do. And you know, this evening, we'll just record whatever we get. And so I built up this crazy drum kit out of like pots and pans and buckets and tin and all kinds of crazy stuff. And um, they literally handed me the headphones and said, we're just going to give you a tempo. Play whatever comes into your head. Go ahead. And I was like, OK. And there you are on the spot. I had no context for whatever the background music was. I just played kind of what I felt. And, uh, and then the following day, I heard them plug that drum piece into the music they had, they had already orchestrated with Adrian Blue's guitar work and the sampling and all the other kind of stuff. So that was that was really, for me, one of the most uh, memorable moments was hearing myself incorporated into a Nine Inch Nails song. But did it did it fit because you had to play, play the tempo? Did it fit or, yeah. or, or did they slow, slow it down? No, it fit because they gave me the tempo to play oh. to and so they literally just lined it right up. And you know, they did a little editing here and there but it was essentially like what I played. So yeah. it was cool and they used it on two tracks but he was he was great to work with. It's for you, are you well, uh, writing your own songs now too? Or? Uh, I'm working on music with uh, World Inferno, uh, who's the band that I'm playing with, as you can see. I've been on tour with them for five weeks, so you wind up wearing all of your own band's t-shirts. But uh, So we have a new record that we're going to work on in the, um, in the winter, and then hopefully come and do another big six-week European tour um, next April and May. Should be really exciting. So but that's 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 your that's your band too. Your new yeah. Band. Okay. yeah. This yeah. These guys they call me and to me it really felt like the perfect fit musically and personality wise. Uh, I love the combination of this sort of you know musical elements of like this sort of jazz, the punk rock, you know, the the, the, the just like the high energy output. Every one of them is just like a force of nature on stage, and I love that. Last question: What does your dad think now of, of your drumming? He's my dad is uh, has always been like one of my biggest supporters, and he's he's incredibly proud. You know, it's really fun talking with him now, and kind of looking back and, and saying like, oh, I remember you know when we said we we're gonna try for this, and yeah, it's kind of it's cool. What is the last conversation you've had that you still recall? The last about music and drumming. Yeah. Uh, he sends me links all the time to different drummers. Uh, he'll send me, uh, you know, YouTube clips on how John Bonham tuned his drums, or you know, clips of the Young Rascals playing "Good Lovin'" and <laughs> and things like that. And so we, he still, even now, is like sending me uh, and trying to inspire me with drummers that he loves and things like that. So I don't know, just all kinds of things. One of the one of the best moments that I remember, uh, my father broke down crying after Dresden Dolls show um, in New Jersey in 2007 because he was just like so proud and so excited about the way the music sounded and that was that was pretty moving and pretty cool to see the old man kind of break down and be like and not just be like I'm so proud of you but he was like fuck yeah like I was like yeah dad like he was feeling it so that made that made me feel good thank you yeah absolutely thank you thank you Appreciate it, guys. Cheers, then.